Hello and welcome to Just One More Watch. Welcome today to a video that I'm really excited to be making. Not only is it another double unboxing, I get to open up, peel the stickers, size up for the first time two new watches, and share that experience with all of you, but this is the first of hopefully a series of future videos made in partnership with Joma Shop. You could even say if you wanted to that this one was powered by Joma Shop. Now my tongue may be in my cheek rather firmly there, but you know what I mean, I'm sure. If I want to review a Hamilton, a Tissot or a Seiko, I've either got to borrow it from a subscriber or I've got to buy it myself. Indeed, I have bought no less than 15 different Seiko watches over the last two years so that I could share that experience with all of you. Now, as you can imagine, that gets a little bit expensive, so I'm delighted to be getting a bit of help from Joma Shop to make this and a few more videos. Now, to be clear, I still paid money for these watches, but they did give me a discount. Hopefully, this will mean that I get better access to watches that I think I'll really like and I think that you would really like and really want to see as well. Now, Joma Shop in return would obviously like me to direct you to their website. Joma Shop have been in business since 1987. That is over 30 years. They're one of the world's largest online watch retailers, stocking hundreds of different brands at very, very keen pricing. Really, it's a kind of natural bedfellow is just one more watch in Joma Shop. I'm always talking about value for money on this channel and encouraging you to get the best prices possible on watches. More often than not, I think you'll find the best prices possible are to be found on Joma Shop. Now, they may be based in the US, but they ship worldwide. They were happy to ship these watches to me down here in Sydney, Australia, for example. So even if you don't end up buying from Joma, you'd be a mug not to at least check out their prices. Now, I actually got four watches in from them. I'm gonna do six videos. So a double unboxing, review, review, double unboxing, review, review, spread out over the next couple of months. Today, I've got what I think is the quintessential Hamilton, the kind of classic Hamilton, the khaki king. And I've got a Tissot, a Swiss made automatic watch, but it's COSC certified chronometer for less than 300 US dollars. I will obviously leave links to both of these from Joma Shop in the description of the video. I will also leave two different discount codes. John was seven, taking seven US dollars off anything over a hundred dollars, and John were 20, taking 20 US dollars off anything over 250 US dollars. So already sharp pricing gets even sharper when you apply the discounts. Let's flip the camera then and get into the first of these double unboxings, Hamilton and Tiso. Double unboxing, a frame full of watch boxes. How much fun are these videos? I always have a great time making them. So I think I'm gonna take on the Tiso first today and leave that khaki king for last. So the Tissot PR100 then, and this isn't just the regular PR100, this is a COSC certified automatic with an 80 hour power reserve. So a Swiss watch, 80 hour power reserve, COSC certified, $299 on Joma at the moment, less the $20 discount voucher, 280 US dollars. That is a ridiculous sticker price for a watch that offers, on paper at least, so much. I'm itching to get into the box. So I've recommended the PR100 on multiple occasions before, but always just the quartz version. I've included it in my Christmas gift ideas video, both years that I've made that video, and also my best watches under 200 video. I then bought a used one and reviewed it. And in all of those videos, I've said the same thing. If you're buying someone a gift and you want to look like you spent an awful lot of money, buy them a Tissot. Not only is it one of the most recognizable Swiss brand names outside of the top tiers, it's also on that Swatch Group ladder and it comes with fantastic packaging. I mean, this doesn't look like a $300 watch. There's so much going on here. Let's have a look at it all. That little section at the back of the box includes a full Tissot catalog, so you or the person you gift the watch to can spend hours and hours browsing over that one. And it has the history of a watch company, so it's the entire kind of potted history of Tissot. I can't think of any other watch at or around this price, or even much more than that, that goes to this trouble that takes that extra step, reinforcing the reasons you bought one of these Tissot watches in the first place, and just adding to the overall package. 
Well, that's all well and good, but really it is still about the watch. So let's open the lid and reveal what we've got inside. The PR100 Chronometer Spec Auto. But it should be noted that the fun isn't quite over with the box yet either. We've got a couple of little sneaky pouches in either side of the box. This one contains the warranty instructions all there. And another one on the other side, which I will keep the spare links in, keeping the whole thing nicely packaged. And there it is, all looking quite familiar having unboxed and reviewed one of these earlier on this year, though there is definitely more heft, a bit more weight to this auto than there was to the quartz. Obviously, the auto movement in here does weigh considerably more than a quartz and battery. Let's have a look at the two tags then underneath. Uh, one just Tissot with all of the, the model details there, stainless steel, 100 meters 10 bar of water resistance and a rotor signifying the fact that it's an auto. But here's the one I'm most interested in, Certified Chronometer. All right then, let's peel off some stickers for our mutual satisfaction. Nicely protected, plenty of stickering on the bracelet and covering the dial and the case back as well. Bit of a plain Jane, this PR100, if I'm being honest. You know, there's nothing that particularly grabs the eye with it, but it is just such a super sensible, kind of killer proposition, value prop as well for an there we go, a kind of Monday to Friday office wear piece, kind of everyday watch, especially with this movement at that price. And the pièce de résistance, the coup de gras. There we go, peeling that one off the dial and quite a nice sunburst effect there. I hadn't really noticed that too much on the quartz model. Looks pretty good. Let's size it up set the time and date and get it on wrist. And there it is sized for my seven inch wrist and the time and date set. Push pins, nice and simple. It does only have a pressed clasp though. I think Tissot are a bit cheap when it comes to that. They don't pop a proper milled scissor clasp on there. But first impressions are pretty good. Do you know what struck me when I was sizing up? Very similar in size, shape, look and feel to the Seiko Sarb 033. Perhaps then that is an idea for a future versus video, a future head-to-head 10-round -head watch boxing special, Switzerland versus Japan. And before I move on to the Hamilton, let's just have a quick look at this Powermatic 80 movement. Really, this is the reason that I bought this one, it's to have a crack at one of these. As far as I'm aware, it's a modified ETA 2824, so that's the base movement, but they slow it down. So they slow it down from four hertz to three hertz. They reduce the frequency, so you only get six ticks of the second hand per second. That means it uses less energy, and in conjunction with a larger barrel and various other kind of silicone parts inside, increase the efficiency of the movement, so they can get that remarkable 80 hour power reserve. That's a three day power reserve out of a budget movement that's cost certified. I'll be very interested to see how this one gets on in real world conditions. I will be starting a watch check app on it forthwith and I'll come back with a full review in a few weeks time. Next up then, it's the King, the Hamilton Khaki King. Now this one is currently 375 US dollars on Joma, less $20 discount. That's 355 and that's for the one on the bracelet. My logic is always get the watch on, unless you really hate a stainless steel bracelet, always get the watch on a bracelet. You can then swap it out for a NATO strap or a leather strap later on if you prefer, but it's always harder to go back. So if you buy the one on a NATO, first of all, always more difficult to go back and add on a bracelet always cost you far more to do it that way. So we have, this is new, I've had two Hamiltons in the past. I owned one of their Aviation Pilot Pioneer automatics with that Powermatic 80 movement. And I also briefly bought a khaki mechanical hand winder last year. But this box is new, nice. I'm not sure if it's wood or full wood, but regardless, there it is. Comes with the large comprehensive instruction manual, which obviously I have no intention whatsoever of reading. And there is the king himself. Talking of kings, do we think that uh, Elvis was Hamilton's most famous customer over the years? He wore one of those asymmetric Venturas that they, they still have for sale to this day. I know that Hugh Laurie, the actor, wore one when he was in the TV series House a few years ago. That featured fairly regularly. Perhaps Matthew McConaughey has taken the crown in Interstellar, uh, the movie, more recently. But regardless, a few very appropriate product placements by the Swatch Group 
over the last few years then to increase the brand awareness of Hamilton. This definitely one of their classic models. I missed out on one of these uh, the day that I bought my Aviation Pilot Pioneer. I'd actually wanted one of these, but they had all gone. Let's see how I get on with this one. Let's peel off some stickers. Now this one features a proper milled clasp, I have already noticed. It features the same Powermatic 80, uh, they call it an H40 because it's in the Hamilton, but it's the same base ETA 2824 base movement, not COSC certified in this case though. So it'll be interesting to see how accurate it is by comparison to the one in that Tissot. The little tag there suggests a sticker price of 595, but perhaps that's the high street price. It's not the price you pay from online retailers. And finally, the most satisfying of all, it's that one covering the dial. And it is such a pretty feel dial on this Hamilton. All right, let's size it up and get it on wrist. Yeah, okay, so this is the Hamilton that I should have bought a couple of years ago. Wears very, very sweetly indeed. So 40 mil in diameter, this one, but looks like it's got quite a long lug tip. I'll measure that for the full review. However, it's got that recessed mid link, which means it drops very nicely. So, so it gives the impression of being a bigger watch, but it wears like a smaller watch. So it's the kind of the best of both worlds. A lot going on in that dial, but it's just perfect. Really, really nice. Love those long pointy hands. That little triangle on the tip of the second hand all the way out of the edge of the dial there. The whole thing looks great. And having a day date complication up there at the 12 is a bonus as well. Looking forward to wearing this one. I suspect that this one might end up being a bit of a favourite. So, in some ways, a kind of pair of classics, each of them a little bit different, but obviously sharing a lot of DNA because they're both Swatch Group products. Big thank you again to Joma Shop for coming to the Just One More Watch Party. Hopefully this is the start of something long term. Don't forget to click the link in the description of the video. Check out both of these watches and make sure you apply those discount codes for the best deals at Joma. Now, I did get two more from them. I'm not going to tell you what they are. I'm not going to give the game away quite yet, but I did get four quite different watches. So we've got a kind of dressy every day here, a field. The other two, I got a diver and a pilot's watch. So uh, mixing it up a little bit, I thought, why not? But crack into these two today. Looking forward to seeing how accurate this one is and whether I do fall in love with the Hamilton that I should have bought in the first place three years ago. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in another one very soon, I'm sure.